Chesterfield County Public Schools has many opportunities for students when they enter high schools. In addition to the broad spectrum of programs in each of our comprehensive high schools, our school division offers students the opportunity to participate in optional academic programs related to their special interest at our specialty centers. These programs include the arts, engineering, leadership, math and science, mass communication, and many others. I'm here today with Ms. Kumi Gordonson, Director of Middle School Leader Leadership, and Dr. Belinda Merriman, Director of High School Leadership, to discuss specialty centers, the process to apply, and an upcoming event for middle school families to explore the many options we have. Thanks so much for joining us. Of course. Thanks for having us. So what are our specialty centers, and how do they differ from a regular high school experience? Um, we have a wide range, as you shared earlier, any, ranging anywhere, as you said, from engineering. We have some health sci, and we have some focused more on the business field and entrepreneurship. Um, we have humanities, so if you're interested in more of the literature and the art history, so we have a wide range of different specialty centers that students can become a part of. And really, the point of it is so students can fulfill their high school um, within an interest. So really, they fulfill all of their um, graduation requirements that they need, but they do it within an area that they find relevant and interesting for them. Okay, so the, the application process, mm -hmm. uh, I'm assuming that there is one, uh, mm -hmm. is in middle school. Right. Can you talk a little bit about what that application process looks like in the timeline? Sure. Um, well, it's a great time of year just to begin this conversation. Um, we do have upcoming opportunities to hear from the specialty centers, mm -hmm. but at each child's middle school, the school counseling department works with students to promote um, activities and fairs that are being held and to guide students through the application process. Um, most middle schools offer um, some sort of a counselor opportunity to talk to parents and students about the specialty center process. So I encourage parents to check each school's website, each middle school's website, for those upcoming opportunities. Um, the students will then receive application packets for whichever schools they're interested in. And each program has different steps that the students have to follow in order to apply. Um, there's also um, a process around January where everything is turned in to the school counselors all of the sites, I believe, require recommendation letters. Um, so it's a fairly long process, but it's one that can be done in stages throughout the fall for students. And then ultimately, that information is transferred to the high school for their evaluation. Thank you. So when they, when they go to that, if they go to a specialty center high school, does their diploma look different? Or is it from their home school? Or is it from the specialty center high school that they go to? It's from the specialty center high school that they go to. And they normally get a seal um, specifying that that's where they got a a diploma specifically for that particular one and then also we do have a couple of governor's academies and so that also would have a slightly different seal if you attended one of the governor's academies uh, but i will say also based upon what miss gordonson was saying we do have those two specialty center fair opportunities october 1st and october 11th um, from 6 30 to 7 30 and that's a great opportunity for parents and students to come in and talk to the coordinators students and the parents from each of the specialty centers mm -hmm. additionally this year which is um, a move that's a bit different than we've done in the past, we're actually having some breakout sessions during that time, so that way they can get um, some additional information on application process or auditions, if a school needs auditions or letter of recommendations, et cetera, from people who are actually doing the, the application piece at the high school level. So that's another way that they can gain some additional information. That's really helpful. Mm -hmm. So uh, certainly it sounds interesting to just very Definitely. different than it was when I was in school, yes. all of these opportunities. What are the advantages of, of going to a specialty center? You know, I think sometimes for students it depends upon, it helps them figure out if they're interested in something or not. Um, I was at, I taught at a specialty center before um, I went into administration and I remember one of the students telling me by the time they were a junior, they're like, I realized I don't want to do this as a career path. So that was a benefit for them. They recognized they learned a lot from it, but they also knew not to apply for colleges related to that particular field, not to go ahead and go into debt because oftentimes our students have to pay for college and they figure those things out prior to that. And for other students, it just adds a different layer of interest. Sometimes it helps them see relevancy within their coursework. Um, also, they're kind of viewed within a, they're part of the comprehensive high school, part of that high school, but they have some smaller groups, and so they really are able to form some bonds with other students because they take coursework together during most of those four years. So they're really able to develop some deep relationships with other students. That sounds really nice, actually, making it really big, kind of mm -hmm. small. Absolutely, and we encourage students at the middle school level to really have the conversation with their parents about what is their area of interest. Is this something that they would like to explore? You know, do they have a background knowledge in this particular area? Um, but really, the specialty center application process we feel is a uniquely personal decision for each family. You know, that should be carefully considered and and 
looking through the applications, what would they like to apply to, you know, what really grabs them and hooks them in, or what do they just want to learn more about. But it really, we really encourage our middle school students to have good conversations with their parents and for parents to come to events to learn more. You know, I think it's a wonderful opportunity for parents just to see what's offered. It is so different than what yeah. many of us had when we I, went to school. I could have, I could have done some really neat things. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you mentioned the event. Can you just go over the details of the event and, and, and you know, really the benefits of attending it? And as I said, the 1st and the 11th, it's an open house fair. So that way it's whenever you come in between 6.30 and 7.30, they're all set up. They have tables set up around um, the large room at the, Tol the Thomas Fulgham Center um, on Hall Street. And so therefore they can go in and they can figure out which perhaps which specialty centers they want to talk to before they go in. They'd probably be better off thinking through that ahead of time, as Kimmy was saying, mm -hmm. having those conversations with their parents and knowing where they kind of want to make a beeline to. Um, and then having some conversations, getting some additional information, and then those separate breakout sessions will be run um, throughout. So every 10 to 15 minutes, we were thinking about having those during that hour. Um, so that way they can pop in or out to maybe one or two of those if they wanted to. And if, if I can't make either of those events, is there a place that I can find more information? The information is on the website, and also I would strongly suggest looking there because if you can't make one of those fairs, each mm -hmm. of the specialty centers also have open houses over the next few months, so they can go directly to those events. That's only that one school talking about what they're doing, and oftentimes there's tours and much more specific information about that specialty center done at the high school level. So I strongly suggest any student who's interested going not only to the fairs, but also to those open houses, because that and really is key. Is that publicized on the website Yes, as well? it's awesome on the mm -hmm. website. Well, this is an exciting time for middle schoolers, isn't Absolutely. it? It's so great. <laughs> they're, they're making their plans. Well, <laughs> thank you so much, both of you, for coming so and, and everything that you do for our school division and supporting our middle schoolers and high schoolers and, and teachers. And thank you for joining us on Engage Chesterfield.